breaks in the darkness by Lazarus affection. Darkness. Everywhere, I looked, there was darkness. It crept out from every foreshadowing corner, consuming you into the depths of hell. No escape. I was stuck in this cold-hearted house for the rest of my life. No! I screamed. I will find my way out even if it kills me. Demons pirouette in the dark as I walk through the cold house. Ghouls chanting a death mantra to the innocent whispers that could be heard in the walls chanting, Thou shalt never be free. Thy sin has, thou hast committed, forever will be with thee. I ran faster, willing my lungs not to burst from the unwanted exercise. My heart pounded in my ears, my legs screamed at me to stop running. But I couldn't, I wouldn't. Suddenly, I got a burst of adrenaline. I found a hidden receptacle of power, my last chance to get back to them. Urging them faster, I ran as fast as my legs could take me out of that hell-bound house, running for my life. In the distance, I could hear a scream, a howl for a wolf's pack. I attempted to run faster, but I tripped on a log, falling to the ground with a thud. We've got you now, girl, it said. Feeling the need to run, I picked up my body, which now seemed to weigh four tons, and dragged my feet through the sodden mud. Closer with every second, they got closer. No escape. What do you want? I shouted. No answer. Answer me, I cried out. Still no answer, and with that I saw darkness. I woke to darkness. Instead of my simple jeans and shirt, I saw a checkered doll dress, and I had my hair in curly pigtails. Why? I thought. Why do I look like this? Whatever had happened, I needed to leave. You survived. You don't come out of the other side of something like this weaker. What is there left to be scared of? It said. Why me? I asked. Why me? No answer. I took a quick intake of breath when it answered. Well, just look at you. You're stronger. Faster. More ingenious than you lit on. I have to admit that it is quite exhilarating yet ghastly at the same time. It's quite thought provoking, really. I was cast into complete and utter silence for what felt like an eternity, but for only a few mere seconds while it carelessly strode away, saying, Congratulations. You are still alive. Most people are so ungrateful to be alive. But not you. Not anymore. Run. Run while you can. Whispered a figure, frolicking in the everlasting darkness. Run! It screamed at me. In less than a minute, I was up and charging at a mouldy, damp door and stained, cross cracked windows using the last of my energy to get out of this curse hell. Running, gasping and running, freedom, I was finally free. I could finally get back to them, my family, almost there, almost there to the people that loved me.